Great morning, folks. Why? <laughs> How else would we start today? The nuclear reactors at the San Onofre nuclear facility will never be switched on again. This is terrific news. Now we just got to get the rest of them. Amazon Fire Risk article. It includes the graphic and a video on the much unseen smaller fires that claim most of the destruction zones every year. I've already mentioned the early noctilucent clouds this year and given my opinion. And I'd be a tool not to share the official NASA position as well, which I respectfully but wholeheartedly refute based on the evidence given in the video, Energy from Space. You can just Google that. Mid-level quakes were rumbling most of the day, with each of these dinging six magnitude on at least one reader. Also have more quaking in Africa, another 4.9 in Tanzania, but a four-pointer in Sudan as well. Another one of those in the Caribbean. And the San Cristobal volcano in Nicaragua is rumbling as well. Well, here's Andrea's last 48 hours. She ripped up the coastline, said hello to New York this morning. There is significant to major level flooding in areas all up the eastern coastline. And while this departs today, the severe storms will return to the central states tonight as a pressure convergence raises the alert level. As you can see, we got a solar flare last night, just shy of M6 making it a powerful eruption, causing radio blackout briefly over the Pacific. Came from the Delta Group departing on the Southern Hemisphere. At the end of this video I will have shots of the eruption in other wavelengths. This is 131 angstroms of light, focused on the southwestern limb. Having that sunspot depart leaves just our newborn spot, but my how he's grown. Still not popping flares, but gaining magnetic mixing centrally with some larger umbras. Yesterday's CME impact has ended and we are now taking what I believe is the beginning of another coronal hole stream, especially with rising proton density at the outset. Early in the event, magnetometers are still calmish, plasma not yet penetrating like before, even got a break in the inductions, which I promise won't last long. Protons ding the electrons down when they can and it's too early to guess what geomagnetic effects will result later tonight. Umbral Field's upper coronal layer here appears to be blocking Earth, right? Yes, you can see the lower fields matching the column dead center, but it's not as strong as we usually see. And yes, that darkness inside is a perfect center coronal opening, with some to the left as well marking the edge of that opening. So many coronal holes, I'm honestly not sure how to interpret this many on the disk in terms of magnetic influence. Skywatchers can't watch today's event. It is a new moon, so the sun will block it out. Interesting to note, however, that the next full moon, June 23rd, is special because the annual close approach of the moon to Earth occurs within one hour of that perfect full moon alignment. Got some more shots of the M flare on the limb. Also another look at this plasma tree cresting the eastern equatorial region. Eyes open. No fear at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.